Hi, I'm Mike Graham, and this is Lighting Insights. Today, we're going to be talking about atmospherics, and more importantly, what each one of these atmospherics is, and what it does, and where you should place them inside of your venues. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start out with hazers. Hazers are one of the most common types of atmospherics that you're going to find in any venue. They're designed to give you a light uh, plume of smoke and to accentuate any beams or lights that you do have in the air. This one here, this is our brand new Amhaze Whisper. Uh, it runs with dials off the front or through DMX. Uh, it's kind of cool because you can set your fan speed wherever you want it to be at and then drop in your volume on top of that. and gives you a nice quiet atmospheric device with nice and even smoke. Hazers come in many shapes and sizes, so making sure you pick the right one for your venue is pretty important. Uh, each one has a different heater rating, and that heater rating, depending on the size of it, will tell you about how much haze it should put out. The bigger the heater, typically the higher amount of volume, but also keep in mind that the bigger the heater, the higher amount of volume, the more noise they make. So it is something definitely important to check out as you're selecting your hazer. Now another thing is placing your hazers. In a room like this, it doesn't matter too much. You're gonna get great coverage. But if you're in a bigger venue or you're outdoors, keep in mind that there is airflow happening that's gonna be working against you. So if there's air conditioning or you're in an outdoor venue, you have a lot of wind, you're gonna need a lot more haze and you need to know where you put your hazer so you get the best amount of coverage. Next up are fog machines. And fog machines are devices that are designed to give you huge plumes of smoke. Uh, this one here is our Atmos that we sell at Showway Professional. Um, but it's typical of most fog machines where it produces a large amount of smoke and is designed to fill a stage or fill your environment up with as much white, puffy, atmospheric as possible really quickly. Uh, it's great for outdoor events where you want to maintain your looks and give you huge beam effects in the air. Uh, it's also good for effects where you want to have on stage things like a someone appear on stage instantly so you roll out a big plume of fog and then your person shows up. It's pretty cool. Fog replacement is as important as placing your hazers. You want to make sure that you're getting the right effect where you want to have it and also you do still want to mind your airflow. Uh, it is atmospheric so it will still blow around and with that in mind you want to make sure you put your foggers where you do want to have all of your effect. One thing about fog machines is that they're all loud doesn't matter. So make sure when you do figure out where you want to place your fog machine, you do put it someplace where the noise that it creates isn't going to affect your scene or your audience's reactions. So here it is. And then there's the hybrid foggers. Typically what that means is you have a fog machine that's designed to fire either straight up or straight down and has color LEDs around the outside of the nozzle. Uh, this one is a Chauvet Professional Vesuvio RGBA that offers red, green, blue, and amber LEDs around the outside of the nozzle. A couple of things to keep in mind when you are using atmospherics. Number one, make sure that your building is okay with you using those atmospherics. Uh, these devices will put off some types of smoke alarms, so make sure you've worked it out with the fire marshal or the building management ahead of time. Another thing to keep in mind is that fluid selection is incredibly important. Make sure you consult the user manual for your device before you go out and buy fog fluid. Make sure you match that fog fluid for your device because those fog fluids are typically generated specifically for a particular heater type or, or, or a pump style. So that's a really important choice. I hope you've picked up a few cool tips on how to use your atmospheric devices and thanks for watching.